Raise a glass, you've made it another year. Happy birthday, have a laugh, crack a smile, even shed a tear. Because it's your birthday, pop the cork, pour the flute, make a wish, and don't forget to count the candles. Now we celebrate with cheer. Raise your glass to another year. Raise your glass, it's time to have some fun. Happy birthday, yellow cake for another trip around the sun. Because it's your birthday. Hey, peeps! Guess what today is? And my birthday and my anniversary. Yes, yes, my husband married me on my birthday, which is good for him because then he can't forget, but bad for me because then I don't get two gifts. I get one, <laughs> but then y'all know I just get whatever I want anyway, so it just doesn't really matter. But anyway, we are doing ranch updates. So we are busy, busy, busy trying to get ready for Fashion Woodlands. And so you're gonna see all kinds of stuff in here today. Everything from new grass being planted and the fish pond getting done and like just everything, 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 everything. And it's my birthday, but you know what? I don't, I don't really celebrate it today. Like I celebrate my birthday every day, all year long. Like I celebrate my life on this earth every single day. I wake up and I thank God that I'm still here and I thank God that another year has gone by. I mean, like I just do it on a daily basis. And so I don't just pick one year or one day, I'm sorry, out of the year to just celebrate. And so, I mean, we'll go to dinner at the country club and you know, I get some flowers and some cards, but it's not a, I don't make a big deal out of it. I really don't. So that's just me, that's just me. And then if I want something, I just go buy it, you know, but what do I need? Like. Phew, other than, you know, new purses and new shoes and new clothes. <laughs> but anyways, guys, honest to God, I just truly try to celebrate my life every single day instead of just picking one day. It's kind of like Valentine's Day. I don't, I don't really celebrate Valentine's Day because I try to make sure my husband knows on Valentine's Day, on his birthday, on our anniversary, on Father's Day, on, I, I mean, I, I just try to make sure my husband understands and knows that he's loved by me every single day. So I'm um, like some of these holidays I think are kind of wasteful, like Valentine's day. Who made that up? Just, it got made up so we could just have another day to spend money, you know? And, and really when you get the chocolates and the flowers on Valentine's day, is it really that big a deal? <laughs> no, I'd rather just get flowers any day of the year, just because that actually means more to me. So anyways, let's just jump into today's video showing you all of the ranch updates and uh, I'll be back. So we now have the automatic fish feeder installed. The guys finished the platform. The fish feeder has been installed and now literally it's feeding all the fish in the pond. And so it literally goes off like four times a day. So their first, first amount of food gets delivered to them around 7 a.m. Then it feeds them again at 9 a.m. Then they get fed again at 5 p.m. And then they get their last feed at 7 p.m. So it's pretty cool. All I gotta do is keep the food stocked up inside of it. Sorry, I'm shaky. I'm not actually out there. I'm in my house videoing because it is hot out there and it's my birthday and I don't wanna go out there and sweat right now because I've got a big day planned. So anyways, just wanted to give you an update on the fish feeder. It's an automatic fish feeder. I actually got it off of Amazon, believe that. It's actually a fish feeder or a feeder for wildlife. So you could actually put it out in the woods to feed deer and other things too. So pretty cool, pretty cool. So anyways, the grass is looking amazing. It's amazing what a little bit of rain will do for your landscape, seriously. Yeah, so 
Anyways, let's see what else we got to video here today. Okay, I'm pissed. Okay, this stupid bird just plucked one of my fish out of my pond. Look at that. Oh my God, I'm so pissed. You think it's a fish or a snake? I don't know, let me go. Go, go maybe if you go scare him, he'll put it down and we can see if it's a fish or not. Carolina's gonna go see if it's a snake or a fish. I think it's a fish. Get him, oh, he's got it in his mouth though. Shit. Whatever it is is in his mouth. Quit, get off that wall. Oh, I think he's got a fish in his mouth. Stupid, oh, stupid birds. Here I am trying to stock my pond with fish and you're taking my fish out. Ah, there he goes, there he goes. You stupid bird. All right, mother, what are we doing? Finding well, a rose garden. What are they doing? <laughs> Finding a rose garden. So you got rid of my old ones. Well, there's a couple old ones that's oh, made it. Good. One down there, one right there. I think there was two or three that made it. And one right there. So there was three that made it. I think we brought in 17 new ones. Wow. And they won't die in the winter time. And hopefully by next summer they'll be big and sturdy so that the heat can... But there's plenty of water in this yard, so... Try to make the yard pretty. I wonder when those... Hibiscus? Limes. That's like, a lemon. Or, okay, so... That but they, it's been there forever. When I can know, you pull it? He's turning yellow. Yellow. Oh, there's only one. So far, I thought there was more. But there's little baby limes. Those are baby limes. I thought those were just buds. Those are baby limes. Wow. See, here's the flowers. Look. Look at their so needle. And she's back doing the touch up on Tashina's eyebrows. This one's complete. One is done. Come over here and look. Oh, you see that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Complete. That one's done. So pretty. And she's working on this one. Ah, there's Drea. Hi, guys. The lavish vanity eyebrow specialist. Yay. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a big-ass baby. <laughs> when she was doing me, I felt like she was scraping my forehead off. <laughs> I was shocked. Ricky. I thought you were brave. Ricky Ru I am brave, but that's why I don't do tattoos. Yeah, you were like grabbing mm -hmm. your thigh. Ricky Ryu, you got to be the center of tension. Oh, got to get some loves. Got to get some loves. Yes. He says, what you doing up here, Aunt Tina? What are you doing up here? Okay, so we got us some big balls. They're called big shiny balls. Yes, I love my hairdo today. So these are called big shiny balls. This is the two foot ball. Now we're going to blow up... Uh, no, that was the medium, right? That was the small. This is the small. This is the medium. This is the, this is the large. large. So I think it was two foot, four foot, six foot, mm -hmm. or two foot, three foot, four foot. I can't remember. Maybe. So know. we're gonna. Anyways, we're trying to figure out if we want to use these for the party, for the for the fashion show. So Cherie is on her way. Don't you just love this hairdo? Lovely, Teresa. Um, <laughs> uh, but Cherie is on her way. She's my decor lady, and we wanted to blow these up so she could see what they look like to see if we need to order more. And because they come from overseas, we have to get them ordered now before it takes too long, you know. So anyways, here's ball number one. So let's see what ball number two is gonna look like. Yeah, don't fall off. 
Okay. Okay. So, that's good. That's pretty. Makes quite the display. So, what we have to figure out is go stand beside it. Let me see how tall it is compared to you. <laughs> we know to. So she's kind of short. What is that? <laughs> so, anyways. Did you bring my lunch, Shirley? Yes. That's quite a display. So we have to figure out. Oh my God! Look at this hair. I've been so busy today. I have not even had time to take care of myself. Um, but anyways, um, yeah. So we've got to figure out um, how many more we're going to need to order. So when Cherie gets here, we're going to take a look at this. Kind of take them out by the pool. Good Lord, my hair looks like crap. Uh, take them out by the pool and kind of figure out a display. You know, yeah, last year we did the Houston Balloon Company. They donated a arrangement. But the great thing about these balls is they are reusable. So the great thing is, is you might spend some money on them, but you can deflate them, pack them away, and use them again for the next event. And so I need to find out from Cherie, my decor lady, do we want all gold? Do we want gold and silver or what? Because it is literally the winter wonderland. So anyways, just trying to share everything about Fashion Woodlands with you guys. Okay. Okay, so roughly four chairs takes up seven foot. Okay. So... Let's see, go all the way. Do you want to do like two chairs past the green? Or do you just want to go to the edge of your... Well, because the DJ is right here. Right here. Yeah, I know. He's people, right. People have to get... This is going to be a major walkway right here for people to get over here. So we don't want to... So how about we stop... Well, yeah, and you always have to worry about that little... And the doors have to open. Right. So one row, the front row can go farther than the back row. Because the back row is the way out. The second row... Okay, so let's just say... Let's just say right here. Okay. Three times seven is 21, right? So, and four chairs? With seven, seven feet. Foot. So if we do three seven foots, that's four, eight, 12, right? Four, eight, 12, yeah. So right here, okay, is 12 chairs. You need to be right there. Okay. So 12. And then 
seven foot. So that's another 16, that's 16 chairs right there. Again, we were thinking we could do. And if I do another seven foot, I love math. So three sets of seven is four, eight, twelve. Yep, and, and then, then you added seven. another seven, which was sixteen. Then you just added another seven, which put us at twenty. Another seven foot, because per seven foot is four chairs. Right. So you just did another sixteen, <clears throat> seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yep. So that's twenty chairs. And we were thinking twenty for all rows. So I think for sure the first row can be twenty. Okay. First row, yes. Second row might not be 20 because this is gonna be a walkway. In the walkway, you can come out. Yeah, because when you fold up these doors, they just all go flush up against the wall, right? Well, they stick out. A little bit? Yay far. Okay. You got, you got six on each side because there's 12 right. doors, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. So those six go that way, those six go that way, but they still stack up. So you're gonna have some doors stacked up about right here, not quite that far, about right here. So you don't want chairs all the way up to here. So you're gonna have to leave. So for sure. So what if we one, did 20 and then 16? Probably 16. For all the other row. rows. So, okay. So we know, we know 20 chairs takes us to this doorway. 20 chairs over there went past the doorway. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now let's, let's just do this. This is where the 20th chair would be, here. And the 20th chair for this front row was clear over here. And it was like on the edge of that. Yeah, right there. Now, is this person going to be mad because they're looking at a plant? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, I would be mad. I would be mad. Especially VIP front row. Yes. So, this is where I started it. So, I'm saying we're going to miss three chairs. Okay, so here's the thing. What if we were to do 16 per row? Because right now we only have four rows at 20. What if we were to do 16 rows, but five rows? So 20, 40, 60, that puts us at 80 if it's 20 per row. What's 16 times five? Okay, so now let's do this. Let's do... Never said math was my forte. Well, oh, it's not mine. So, where can this chair tastefully set? I would say on the edge of that. I'm gonna get behind you and well because I want to be able to stick it go, go, go grab me another chair see if I can put another chair right here so I want to be able to straddle that yeah right okay so basically yes I can still see the runway my obstruction nothing's obstructing me I can see it I can see it Okay, so let's start right here. We're saying four chairs take seven feet. Yep. So, so let's, let's start right there. Okay. So there's four chairs. There's eight chairs. Okay. There's 12 chairs. Okay. Just a second. I'm gonna put my chair. Okay, let go. I said that was 12? Yep. 
That would be 16, right? Yeah. See, now instead of 16, what if we were to do 14 per row? But I think 16, you're still seeing everything. Okay, but now that 16th chair, you're still in front of the plant. Well, I'm kind of in front of the plant down there. Well, not quite. Not quite, no. So maybe it's Because over there, you're only one chair past the green. Over here, you'd be two chairs past the green. No, because it's not equal. Oh, maybe it is. Well, well 16 is. So, say one. Yeah, because we equaled about two chairs. Okay, so give or me a chair was give about me chair. two feet. So, let's do 15. So, if I was 15 chairs, perfect. Obstruction, no. Okay, so let's do 15 rows or 15 in each row. 15 rows, huh? <laughs> 15 in each row. Because oh. on the 15, so we're literally one chair past yes. the greens. That's what I said, yes. Okay. So 15. So one chair past the green, we got that. Yeah, okay. So Okay, so what's 15 times five? Five and five is 25. Is that 75? Yeah, because then if, because we were doing 20, four rows of 20. 80. Four rows of 20, but now, but you're wanting to do five rows now, aren't you? Well, to see so, if we okay, can do so, five rows. So here we go. So we just figured out we can't do 20 rows or 20 in each row. We can do 15. Okay, 15. We can easily do 15 here. Okay. So we're doing two rows out here. So we're doing 30 out here. Yep. Okay. So let's do this now. So we just came up with a dilemma. We've got to change it now. Well, perfect. Okay. <clears throat> well, because the doors are not centered with the pool. Right. So this is probably where we're going to put the photo booth. Okay. It's a round platform. Right. And people can stand on it and the camera spins around them and you do like all kinds of... So this actually makes the perfect spot. How was that again? Just... Can you do a ballerina pose or something? Can you twirl? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, if the first chair starts right here and the first chair over here starts right here, That leaves us room because the, the, round, the, the round photo booth thing can be perfectly right here. Right. People are going to stop here to get photo booth because people are going to be that way. People are going to be this. This is a perfect spot. Instead of tucking the photo booth somewhere where people don't know where it's at, people are going to be. Yeah, here. we're trying to push everything outside this year. Right. Nothing inside. Um. So this would be the perfect spot for the round photo booth. It only takes up like this much room. Okay, so I think this side over okay. here is good then. It's just the other side so, is what we're gonna have to take away. Oh, mom, look at those clouds. I know. Ooh. So, so instead of 15 chairs. Well, so now I'm looking because this has to stack up. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking 14. This row might not be able to be here either. Because you got to think, six doors have to stack up. That's going to take it to about right here with doors. I was going to say, it's probably pretty hard to stack them just for the heck of it, huh? No, we can. Well. But I'm just going to show you. I've only seen them stacked once, and I was very busy last year. Uh, See, so you're brave. I'm like so scared those are gonna like fall off. Okay. Ooh. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Here, I'm gonna move this chair. That's three doors. Oh, well. 
You see what I'm saying? Mm hmm Yeah, I forgot that's how they stacked. Huh? Said I forgot that is how they stacked. There's five. And six. Okay. Here's that chair. So now, picture this chair here. No way. So, considering this is where we were going to have that row, now just imagine if the row starts here. Right. We've now just taken this one away. So that would knock us down to what, 14? Have a walkway. Same in here. We can't go clear over here. We have to leave the walkway. Well, and I think instead of doing like a bigger row, smaller row, I think we should just keep all the yeah. rows the same so quantity. Keep it 14. 14 all five rows? You might be able to go a couple bigger in here, back here. I wouldn't. So, okay. So let's do 14. Yep, 14. And 14 for the second row. Now we're gonna do two rows of 14. Okay. Doesn't that look good? I know, that's why I came in here. Yeah. I'm like, oh. Yeah. Love it. Oh my God. Yeah. I love it when these doors open. I, I can't wait till fall comes. Because when fall comes, we don't have as much humidity and it's only in the 70s and 80s and we can open the doors. I know. Let the bugs in. <laughs> this is what I put the doors in here for. It's this. So, see, literally, when the doors are open, it stacks, I'm going to say two foot. No, 16, 17 inches. Okay, so Cherie just left my decorative lady. Um, so she added more succulents to the outside wall here by the fireplace, the fire pit. So it looked, looks much more fuller and prettier and then she also added to the succulent wall in here by the outdoor kitchen so that looks so much prettier oh my god it just looks like a bistro in france it looks so pretty nice and full now it's very 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 full and pretty so that's exactly what we needed so now we have gone over what we're gonna be doing for the decor for Fashion Woodlands. So I have my job cut out for me now to start ordering more big shiny balls. We need them in gold and silver, not just gold, and more white Christmas trees. Yeah, get on the internet, Teresa, let's start shopping. Okay, we have deflated the balls so that we can Keep them nice until we got to have them for the event. Uh, four six-foot Christmas trees have arrived. These are white Christmas trees, so they're at, we're adding them to our collection of white Christmas trees. Um, yeah, so those just arrived. So I've got them sitting here with the deflated balls. And guess what? Oh Lord, more Christmas uh, stuff for the trees uh, arrived also. But look, I just got to share this with you. My decorating lady look at this amazing display she just created look how pretty that is amazing she just created that and it got delivered and then i gotta show you this one over here this is cute look how cute like i'm telling you she is the best when it comes to these displays and then look at this one wow Sorry, it's kind of dark in here because I don't have the light on, but look at this. It's a beautiful gold container and she puts succulents and everything in it and then she puts all these beautiful orchids in it. I mean, like talk about beautiful, yes! Anyways, she just never ceases to amaze me. Oh, here's another display. Like she's got so many that she's been delivering. Look at this one, cute. Look at, it's a face. Look how cute, OMG, so, so cute. And then look at this one that she did in here in this bathroom, beautiful. 
Look at these beautiful gold containers that she picks out. I'm telling you, she has an eye, but look how pretty that is. And I'm just telling you that just, oh, she just does such amazing jobs putting together things for my house. I absolutely love it. I think there's another one in this bathroom in here. So let me see if I can see this one. Come down here and voila. Look at that one. So pretty. So pretty. So cute. Here's another one in the bedroom. Like, look at this. Just cute. She does amazing jobs. Amazing. So anyways, um, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Oh, I thought I saw the Amazon truck. Guess not. I'm sure they're going to be here today, though. Oh, don't you love this one? Mm-hmm. You know it all day long. So, guys, <laughs> you never know what you're going to get for a birthday present, right? <laughs> so today, one of my birthday presents was my housekeeper quit. <laughs> and I'm not laughing because it's not funny. Um, it's just of all days for that to happen. Why would it happen on my birthday? So once again, we never are in control of what comes our way in life. And you can either take the things that come your way and be in control of your feelings and how it shapes your day, or you can let that emotion run your day or ruin your day or control your day. So today's my birthday. I am not going to let this control my day. I'm dealing with it. I'm not happy about it. I'm sad, but I have to get through this day. It's my birthday. There are people depending on me, such as you, to get film out, to provide the YouTube video. Uh, I've got dinner plans with friends for my birthday. Like the day has to go on no matter what has happened. And so I'll deal with it later. Um, but anyways, Caroline was with me almost nine years and um, it's really upsetting and sad that a misunderstanding can hurt things or destroy things or end things. Um, I've always said the key to everything in life is communication and um, Carolina was always like family, guys. Um, I did a virtual baby shower for her. I, over the years, have given her every piece of furniture she has in her apartment came from me. Um, clothes, furniture, things, like, you name it. I mean, like, I, I considered her family. And, ah... Uh, but all things must come to an end sometimes. And um, so I will be on the hunt for a new housekeeper. So if you know of anyone that likes to be a full-time housekeeper, um, have them send their resume my way to TeresaRomer at gmail.com. My email will be listed in the description box, but uh, only serious inquiries need to apply because uh, that job is a very big job and it is a trusted job. So people are screened. We do background checks. Um, it's, it's a very important job. So it's not a job that uh, can be taken lightly. Um, NDAs are signed. Like I said, background checks are performed. Like it's, it's taken very seriously because this is a a unique family and a lot of stuff happens here and uh, you have to be able to be trusted. So anyways, um, I wished we would have been able to say goodbye to Carolina on film, but that's not how she chose to end things. So um, it's completely interesting that she changed once she got married. And I don't know. I don't know if that's the reason. I don't I don't know but I, I just feel sad because the Carolina that has been with me for over eight years was just a sweet, kind, giving, loving person. 
So anyways, guys, with that said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. A lot of updates. Fashion Friday is going to be fun because I've gotten some more new stuff in and uh, Maria is bringing me the stuff back. Some of it I had to have altered. You know me, I'm the queen of alterations. I love having everything altered so it fits my body perfectly. So, um, but funny enough, this pair of pants, interesting enough, um, they're kind of cool. They are uh, like a cargo pant and it was off of a, a yoga website, like, right? <laughs> And they fit so perfect. I, don't, I didn't have to have them altered or anything. Like, they're so cool. Kind of a creamy color. Um, but I'm absolutely loving them. Let me see if I can lower this a little bit better so you can see them a little better. But so cool. Look how cute. Look how cute. So, anyways. Um, I don't know why that thing is flashing either. It's not like I'm recording down there. <laughs> My little green lights flashing. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and uh, be on the lookout for Friday's video. Remember, Fashion Woodlands tickets are on sale. They're going fast, guys. They're going fast. We have VIP or we have general admission. So run over there, get your tickets. The link is in the description box below. Also, you need to sign up for Houston Style Icons. If you are a fashionista or a fashionable person or a very stylish person, you need to enter yourself or enter someone else. It's so easy. You go to my website, traceromer.com. You click on events and there is either Fashion Woodlands or Houston Style Icons. Remember, if you win the Houston Style Icon contest, you, win, you walk away with a cash prize and you also get to walk the runway during Fashion Woodlands and receive your award. So how cool is that? So with that said, guys, until next time, bye-bye.